a spontaneous lover. Really? Men over 50 like surprises like that? Did you push record? Thanks for joining us again on Second Act TV. I want to welcome Robert and Manny back to Second Act again for another discussion on love and relationships after 50. Robert, thanks so much for joining me. My pleasure, Silka. Great to be here again. Good. Well, Robert, of course, is the author of The Guy's Guy's Guide to Love, and do join him on his new YouTube channel, Guy's Guy TV, and your fabulous podcast, Guy's Guy Radio, which we'll link to. Uh, Robert, today, getting back to a topic, you know, we can never get enough of. That is, what do older men, men over 50, want in bed? You know, this whole channel is focused on starting new relationships, dating, and that topic comes up over and over and over again. And to that point, I ran across an article, you know, got my attention. What do men over 50 want in the sack? <laughs> and true to its title, it's written it, kind of tongue in cheek, good advice, but it's also written by uh, a pool of writers on this particular platform, which we'll link to. And... I don't know. I have I have a few questions to you for to a man, the man's point of view on their advice. The first one said that what men over 50 really want is a confident lover that while older men may still not want a conf, you know, an aggressive woman in uh, the office, they're still getting used to that. They do want an aggressive woman in the bedroom. What do you say? Well, you know, there's a difference between confident and aggressive. So I think everybody at any age, you want to be with a partner that has self-confidence, because if they don't, that it's, it's going to, you know, uh, impact the experience, if you will. In terms of aggressiveness, it's, it's all personal taste. Some women like to be more aggressive and some men like to be more aggressive and whatever works is, is great. So I don't know if it's age uh, significant or not. I think it's people significant where it's individual taste because whether you're older or younger, you have, you know, some, I was on a date when I was in my twenties and I was with a businesswoman in New York and I thought the date was over and she pushed me up against the wall in her apartment and uh, off came her power suit and, uh, <laughs> and it was like, what? But you know, it can happen at any time, any age. So uh, did I like it? Yeah, it was great. Uh, but it's, that's different than, you know, if you get into a whole thing where it's a role play or, or whatever. So I think you just have to be open minded and can't say somebody has to be a specific way all the time or, you know, I don't want her aggressive or I want her aggressive. I, I think we have to just roll with roll with it a little bit because everybody, what does she want? You know, I think that's more important if you're a guy. What does she want? How can I get what I want? And the best way to do that is give her what she wants first. What, 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 what struck me there was a take charge woman in the bedroom means that this woman is telling you what to do, essentially. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I question okay. that. Well, I mean, there's a difference between telling somebody what to do and letting them know what will please them. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, you know, if it's just barking orders, if you're into some type of like submissive type of situation, yeah, bark away uh, and I'll, I'll uh, do what you want. But if it's if it's uh, just somebody telling you what to do uh, and you're a guy, that can be annoying if it's not fun. If there's somebody showing you, leading you to what she wants, you should be all in on that uh, if you're if you're attracted to her and want to please her. So I think it's a matter of how it's done, how the order giving is done or letting the other person know even better what they want. And again, I would stress that if you're a guy, you, what you want to do is find out what's going to make her hot, because um, I think invariably one thing I've learned is if you if you figure out, take the time to figure out how to please your woman, she's going to be more than happy to please you. You really covered, and we kind of went into the second point, which is better communication. That one fifty, okay. yeah, what fifty-year-old men like in bed is a woman who isn't afraid to tell them what they really want. And and that you know, again, I my question there was, well, what's the what's the fine line between mm -hmm. telling what you want and you know and guiding? And I think you just made that point. 
Right. Yeah. Well, it's a it's the difference between showing and telling. What makes for a good story? Showing, not telling. I think what makes for good fun in the in the sack, as they say in the article, is showing, not telling. So the ne- okay, the next point again. It kind of surprised me. Maybe I maybe I'm naive still at my age. Well, I am with a lot of things, <laughs> but a spontaneous lover. Really, men over fifty like surprises like that. Well, listen, a lot of guys. I can't speak for every man. I'm just a, me, a guy's guy, and it's my personal experience. But um, you know, everybody's got stuff that they like, of course. But you know, I I think every person male or female needs to be open for a few surprises just you know men have a a tendency to get stuck particularly aging men where they're not as open to new ideas or new ways to doing things and like hey i got my job i got my money i got my car i got my golf clubs i got my woman what do i need to change you know but this is not how life works and really we need to adapt because things are changing if you don't change life is changing around you and you need to be spontaneous. Spontaneity is important in your relationships, in your, you know, you don't want to be crazy, like, hey, I'm going to run out in the middle of the street. But you want to be spontaneous. It surprises. It's ro- make it romantic. If you put it in the context of that, it's a really good thing. So I would suggest that uh, I don't know if these guys, they, they don't want spontaneity or they do want spontaneity, but I would suggest you know, within reason, it's a good thing because if you just keep getting exactly what you want the way you want it, you know, I get it. I like it. I have certain things. But I think it's nice to to uh, open up the cabinet a little bit. Yeah. Maybe I read it too, too literally because it's couched under what do men want in the sack. But when I read that, as it says here, surprises are the way to go once you turn 50 and equate that with sex. I don't know if that's always the best thing. <laughs> I mean, we, there are issues. You know, some men have to plan a little bit more. So I, I guess it depends on the individual situation. But uh, I, I don't know. I just it, it just struck me that are surprises the way to go? I guess maybe because personally, I, I don't like I like spontaneity, and to me, surprise and spontaneity are two different things. And I think you <laughs> and I think you you explain that really well. So. I totally I totally get it. I agree completely. You know, you want to have some fun. You listen, dating and relationships. You you got to keep the fun. You got to keep the romance. Uh, otherwise, it can be very predictable and dull for both people. And usually, one person's going to get bored before the other piece person. And then if things don't, if you're not spontaneous in terms of, listen, Einstein said, you know, you have to look at issues that we create in a different way if we want to solve them. You know, we can't solve a problem that we created one set of thinking by thinking the same way. You've got to think differently. And to me, it's part of being spontaneous. spontaneous. Easy for you to say. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it's good to be spontaneous and open-minded and fun. It's just having a spirit. The spirit of spontaneity is good. Of course, you know, if some, you're with a woman and she attacks you in the elevator and the camera's on and all of that, there's only so far you, you're going to want to go, all right? And uh, she might say, hey, I like it when people watch or, or whatever. So you ha- it, there's always guardrails for this stuff. And uh, you don't want to go into it thinking guardrails. You want to go into things thinking fun. And um, so as long as you can make it fun and you can try some new things and and, uh, keep the magic going, all good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd I'd love to hear from our viewers on this. Do you you like, you know, does the idea of surprise sex, you know, well, how how do you feel about that, really? (laughs) Um, Well, you know, there's different surprises. You could like, listen, any guy, they they come home after a long whatever and uh, their partner is waiting for them all decked out and like, I'm going to take you care of you tonight and you're going to do exactly what I say, whatever. It's, it, you know, that's a nice, fun surprise for a lot of guys. Maybe some guys wouldn't like that. I don't know. Again, I can't speak for everybody, but you know, that's the type of thing where, you know, that's cool. That's fun. That's, that shows that the other, the, the woman is taking the time to say, I'm going to make a big surprise for him. Uh, that's different than the uh, elevator attack that I just described. Yeah, you're giving us a lot of good visuals, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> the the next one I totally agree with, at least I think. But you know, my question is to you: a partner you can satisfy that you know. Oh, well, okay, so I totally agree with that: a partner you can satisfy. But there is the way he closes it, and and I'll throw this out now even if he knows it's not true. I think that's terrible to even write that. 
Now you're encouraging the woman, something that especially of our generation, we were always encouraged to make the guy feel like he had the best, best sex ever when it wasn't true. Well, I, I guess it's a mindset thing to me. For you're, Again, if you're a guy, if you take care of the woman, she's going to take care of you. If you, you know, you can get away with being selfish for X amount of time, but then eventually the woman's going to be dissatisfied. So I think you want to make sure that you satisfy your woman. If you don't satisfy her, um, she deserves satisfaction. So that begs the question, well, how is she going to get that satisfaction? Fellas, are you listening? Um, so I think it's important to satisfy your partner. And for women, the same thing. You want to satisfy the guy. Now, usually with guys, you know, when it all comes down to ultimately, they want to have some type of uh, orgasm. And But I think women want to have an orgasm. Or, or, I mean, I know they want to have orgasms also. But the, how they're rated um, between the sexes is, is a little bit differently. I mean, a guy's be-all, end-all has to be orgasm. And I don't know if every woman in every situation has to have orgasm or she's not satisfied. I don't know. I'm not a woman. I'm a guy. Guy wants an orgasm. Women want orgasms too, but I don't know if it's as significant a, a marker as it is for men. You'd have you'd be more of an expert on that. Well, than, a, good, than a good question for our viewers, but I, I'm, I'm uh, you know, looking at this in the context of how this article is written. This is a advice to women what men over 50 want. And the way it's positioned is that they want a partner they know they can satisfy, even if it's not true. And that's what I'm questioning. Oh, so so they want to believe that they're satisfying the woman. But I, I don't know if I that, if that's even a good thing. You should want to satisfy your partner. Right. Not right. have her have you have her have you think you satisfied her when you didn't. So it's gotta be real. I think it's promoting that. It, anyway, I, I thought it was a great point. And again, I think that it's written to be somewhat humorous, which, you know, they have a good approach to that. But I think it's a li that, that was a little bit misleading, and I feel like that's worthy to point out. So the next one, Robert, and I, I, I do believe this, they want more than just sex. Well, I, I think everybody, you know, once you hit a certain age, you want more than just sex. You want some type of intimacy and that could come through conversation or just how you interact with your partner. And, you know, sex is sex and sex is great. And it, it, there is an intimacy, obviously, to uh, sexual relationships. But I think, uh, you know, anybody who has is a three-dimensional dimensional person, uh, circumspect person, you're going to want more out of the physical relationship than just, just the sex. You want to be with somebody you want to hang out with afterwards and uh, spend some time with, if it's just wham, bam, thank you, fella, or thank you, ma'am, you know, uh, it is what it is. But I think for an ongoing relationship, of course, you want to, you want the person to be somebody you can relate to and you want to hang out with. Yeah. It, it, I mean, that's just, it goes without, you know, it's like, if you don't want that, what do you just want your, your partner, your wife or whatever to be sex object or something like, come on, it's just for sex. I don't want to hang out, hang out with you, but I have sex with you. That's, that's, that doesn't work. Yeah. No, I agree. I totally agree with what you just said. And again, in, in the context of how this was written, uh, it says that after 50, many men appreciate more cuddling, caressing, and other forms of foreplay in order to postpone penetration for as long as they can hold out. And I, I go back to what, like what John Gray, and we both interviewed him uh, you know, on our, on our programs, and he explains how men shut down after they have sex or that they you know that cuddling and all it's not really what men want <laughs> so i guess i'm asking you is it, you know do men cuddle just because women want it or do they cuddle more after 50 yeah, because I, they want it too i don't know i think i don't think it's about the cuddling i think there's a you know you want to have a feeling of uh connection and uh, I think it's a, that's the intimacy there. I don't think it has to be with cuddling. Because a lot of times, listen, I'm a guy and I'm a boomer. And after uh, sex, a lot of times, it's like, good night or whatever. You want to go to sleep. Your body says, sleep, yeah. good yeah. sleep. Sleep is good. <laughs> you you want to hang out with your partner, of course. But you can do a lot of that beforehand also. And if she wants to hang out and stay up later and after you have sex, you hang out, fine, you hang out. And then you talk and whatever. Uh, does it have to be cuddling, post-coital cuddling? I don't know. As a guy, I've never thought about, ah, cuddle time now. Uh, you know, I'd rather do the cuddling before, but everybody's different. So if these guys want to cuddle, all power to them.
<laughs> Mike, I agree. And 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 yes, it, the men are are you know th this is no this is for women what men want. But at the men we have lots of men watching. Women do like to cuddle after sex. <laughs> I don't think men do. Sure, right. <laughs> this totally is what right. I thought. Right. Uh, anyway, lots lots to think about again. Uh, I, like I said, mo most most of this, I think they're really really good points. I was a little little thrown by you know in the context in which it was presented, and again because this is advice, people, we seek this advice. I just question a lot now when when we do you know present this and you know maybe give it a little bit more to think about. But uh, I'll, Robert, I'll let you close on this topic. Well, I just say the bottom line is love yourself and there's not enough love in the world and take care of your partner first and you'll be well taken care of. Absolutely. Anyway, I'll link to the article, Robert. I'll link to all of your stuff. Always love talking with you. You, I love your transparency, you your honesty, and I can't wait to have you back on Second Act TV. You got it. Thanks, Silka. Bye, everybody. <laughs>haven't already done so please be sure to subscribe to our channel the button is right over here just click on through to youtube when you see the little bell right next to the subscribe button hit that too we'll notify you every time we start a new video see you next time